lives. To every NRA supporter who believes we are too young to be discussing this, then you are so wrong. We are brave. We will not stand down. We will not let our voices be silenced. We are slowly getting to the voting age and we are a force to be reckoned with. Violence happen tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, and never again. So here's a message from myself and kids of my fellow generation. If you were scared of us before, we are now your worst nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. I just want you to know that the primary election matters too. Vote yes. in the primary. May 15th, May 15th. Don't forget that date. Every election counts. Every vote counts. So do I have any more speakers since we're in such a good mood? <laughs> yes. Come on, everybody, line up. Come on. It seems like you like to speak instead of walk. <laughs> 600 attended today. I hate to cast a down note on this, but I think we have to be realistic. The battle to end slavery took over 100 years. Yeah. The battle for women's vote, about 80 years. You think this is going to happen now? Something will happen now. We might get the bump stocks. We might even get the automatic weapons ban. But this is a long battle. And the only way we're going to get win it is to vote and vote and vote and vote and vote. This year and two years from now and six years from now and 20 years from now. I'm 73. I won't live to see the end of this, but some of you will. No, you will. It's a long battle. Get ready for the long run. You will have a long life and you will see it. And, but I do know that back in the late 60s that me and my generation were protesting for different reasons than this, but we started it. We need you guys to finish it. You kids, we've been waiting for you. Thank you for showing up from high school, college, all the way down to the little ones. You're our future. Our world is in your hands and you guys are now giving me some hope. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Excuse me? Kate wants to talk. You too, honey. Anybody. I'm a qualified yeah. technician. I can do this. <laughs> One thing, Mr. He, Webster. Listen, he donated all this today. Glad to do it. Thank you for coming. Uh, one thing, Mr. Oh, Webster reminded me of on 9 11 at the Pentagon. What a lot of people don't know is there are thousands and thousands of civilians who work in the Pentagon and they have a daycare center there. After the attack, a group of Marines gathered all the children from the daycare center and formed a guard around them to protect them because the first organizing principle of any culture, any society, is the defense of its children. Yes. And a society that cannot protect its children is not a society. I want to um, really quickly, just two things. The, the kids who walked out the other day, thank you. We are so proud of you because you stood up. That's what Americans do. That's what Americans have always done. We stand up. We've spent over 200 years standing up to people who want to enforce their will with a gun. And we will continue to do that. And if you get detention or suspension because of this, just remember you're in really good company. Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs>
You're sitting out the tension with Dr. Martin Luther King and Cesar Chavez and Susan B. Anthony. You are, you are sitting out the tension with our Irish and Italian brothers and sisters who stood up for immigrant rights in the early part of the century. You're, you're standing up with our brothers and sisters in the labor movement who just wanted some decent treatment in the workplace. You're standing up with the, with the women who were marched and were beaten and imprisoned for demanding the right to vote. It's not easy. There are always consequences. This, this will not happen easily or quickly. Things will get worse before they get better. But you stood up and we're really proud of you. And if one day you go to a job interview or a college interview and they say, what's this suspension on your record? Look at them, smile and say, I stood up. Yeah. There's always a danger with things like this, that we all show up today and we meet great people and we say great things and we hear great speeches and we think we've done something. This is great, but the work begins now Yes. Now we need to go register voters. Yes. Now we need to go make sure that registered voters have the right ID to vote. That they're not turning senior citizens away for an elapsed driver's license. We need to make sure that people who agree with us are on the ballot this year. Yes. And then we need to make sure they are elected. That requires your volunteering. It requires you raising money. We don't like to talk about that. Money wins elections. You need to go out and raise money for the candidates you believe in. Thank you very much.